Hi, Wes Scott from Life Back Law Firm. Today we're going to talk about part two common terms and phrases in bankruptcy in Minneapolis, Minnesota uh, by Dr. Amanda Rossback. And today I want to talk about the term, I want to focus on the term reaffirmation agreement. What is a reaffirmation agreement in bankruptcy? Well, first of all, we're talking about a chapter seven bankruptcy, right? And in chapter seven bankruptcy, your liability for debts goes away. Well, banks would love to get your liability back. So what they do is they send us an agreement whereby the debtor gives their liability back for the debt. And so you're giving your liability back when the law has taken it away or will take it away. We generally tell people not to sign these reaffirmation agreements. Better to not be liable on a debt than to be liable on it. Yeah, there's downsides to it. Uh, occasionally, you'll get a bank or a credit union that's going to take this position. You know, if you don't sign it, we're going to we're going to take your vehicle, even if you're current, um, which is interesting, and I think nonsense. Uh, and very few do this. Um, very few because they realize, you know, like they don't want this thing back, um, and the clients want to keep their vehicles. And, and continue to make payments. So um, generally we tell people not to sign these agreements. There are rare instances where it is a wise idea to sign one. For example, I had, this is years ago, I had one where, <clears throat> let's say the gentleman owed $130,000 on his house. The, the mortgage company actually said, hey, if you sign this, uh, we'll reduce it to 80,000. And, and in that instance, I'm like, well, why not? And uh, so it made some sense there. So um, that's a reaffirmation agreement. You are reaffirming what you are about to lose, which is your liability on the debt when the time is right. When you are ready to get your life back, reach out to Lifeback Law Firm. You're going to be so thankful you did.